We're Alan and Kaz. This week we come to the end of our Northumberland 250 road trip as we visit well-known sites, hidden gems and amazing park ops. <laughs> Subscribe and come along with us with new videos every Sunday. I don't know about you Baz, but I was not expecting beaches like this in the UK. No. Not, not, not up north, no. up north with an F. No, and, and I would down south in Cornwall and it down almost south? feels down south. It almost feels a bit down south. It almost feels a bit Cornwall with the surface in the sea. It does, yeah. We're heading up there. Up there. Let's go up there. Not very often you'll see a castle on the beach. You look overdressed compared to everybody else. I know, I'm looking at people and they're like in like, swimming costumes. It's actually a bit warmer on here than it was at yeah. the top there, isn't it? It was quite breezy up there. Should have put my shorts on. Should have put shorts on, should have put a bikini on, Kaz. Well, I don't know about a bikini. <laughs> Can't walk around a castle in a bikini. That is an impressive castle. It's only six pounds to get in there. I'd be quite happy to pay six quid because look at the size of it. Massive. I reckon this is one of the nicest castles I've seen in the UK. Yeah, it is. Absolutely, without a doubt. proper tight so we're not paying to get in it's like 15 quid to get in but there's a big board as you go in um, and it tells you that five generations of the Armstrong family have owned this castle the first one in the 1800s spent a million pounds in the 1800s renovating it and putting it right and getting it all right and he died before it was even ready but a million quid in the 1800s that's pretty um, that's a lot of money and then it still belongs to the Armstrong family now so if you want to come find out some more, it looks fantastic inside. We're just not paying 15 quid to go in. That's um, 15 pounds each? Yeah, 15 pounds each. Yeah, we're not paying that to go in, but it, it does look amazing. So if you want to come to Dunstanborough, Dunstanborough Castle uh, the, and the ruins of, there's some free parking off Embleton Village. Uh, it's pretty tight if you're in a big van, but it's doable. And then you just walk past the coast, down the coastal path. It's about a mile. Pay three pounds in Embleton Village, I think. And then just stroll along the coastal path. A nice little walk along the edge of the golf course. Just watch out for flying balls. Flying balls. <laughs> Nobody wants to get hit on the head by a pair of balls. So here's a bit of history about Dustonborough Castle. It was started in 1313 when relations between King Edward II and his Earl Thomas Lancaster became hostile and Earl Lancaster started building this castle on huge scale, pretty grand scale. He never saw the end of it because 13 
22 his rebellion was crushed and he was executed. It was then used in the it saw action in the War of Roses and was captured by the Yorkists and then was besieged by them and then after that pretty much fell into disrepair and decay and ended up what it is today so pretty barbaric past. On the front, hunt for some chips, Baz. I'm hungry now. I've done a lot of walking today. A lot of walking. I'm starting to flag a little bit. Quads hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find some chips. Come out for a curry instead. So I'm really looking forward to it. When was the last time we went out for a meal? Gosh, I can't even remember the last time we went out for a meal. Uh, what you got, Kaz? Chicken korma. Some chips and tomato sauce. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> and a fish while we know. I'm so looking forward to this. I haven't had an Indian out for a while. I bet my life when you have a korma every time we come to an Indian. I'm pretty predictable when it comes to Indians. Mm. I do like korma. It's real bouncy. The next day. servant can you bring my food up please <laughs> lady edlinton i think your house needs a little bit of work <laughs> it's, it's actually that's your, that's your gatehouse and then there are your kitchens and it says these are lodgings and that's your solar tower i don't know whatever solar tower is and then this is the manor house part here i could see you owning a place like this yeah i could see lady me. of the manor I'd be quite lady happy of the being, lady of the solar house. Being a lady of the manor, <laughs> not this manor in particular, unless it was restored. <laughs> Northumberland still. This morning we're off to Linhope Waterfall. Linhope Estate right at the minute. Are we? Yeah. Yeah, just past Hartside Farm. And Kaz's quads are hurting this morning. Oh, <laughs> Kaz is walking like something's wrong with her this morning. He need me in the night, I'm not joking guys. My god, I thought my leg was <laughs> How many miles did you say we you've we've walked in the last Four days. days. Four days we've done 42 miles. There's one thing like being in the UK and seeing like, I don't know, frogs in a stream or something, but others, this is taking a turn for the worst. I think I'll go back to the van.
here is Lynn Hope Spout. I think this is the prettiest waterfall I've seen in the UK, and I've seen quite a few. This one's really pretty. And if you're into wild swimming or anything like that, there's an awesome little pool at the bottom. Too cold for me, I'm not into wild swimming, but if you are, there's a fantastic little pool here. <laughs> Found this cracking little park up above Hexham. Little church, John Lee Church. And it's in the car park next to it. It's almost like a dead end, so nobody comes down here. And you've got cracking views out. You got a chippy dinner? We are having a chippy dinner. Yeah. You've been wanting chips for days. You keep going been, on about chips, chips, chips. Chippy dinner. So guys, that's the end of our Northumberland 250 road trip. So we hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you've enjoyed the last few videos. Go check them out. If you've enjoyed them a lot, then leave a like. And if you've enjoyed them even more, then leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. See you on the road.